Hello Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to be taking a look at what is going on for you guys with you and the person that is on your mind. Remember, whenever you come across this reading will be the right time for you to see it. But as always, practice using your own discernment because these messages are meant for the collective. Okay, Scorpio, let's see what is going on for you guys. I'm seeing somebody has been chasing a chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. Somebody has fears of being um, left, abandoned. This is somebody who also fears of other people getting bored of them. Feeling, and this could have to do with a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. Um, I do feel like somebody's been trying to follow their heart. Somebody's been following their heart here. I, I do see that you have gotten over someone or you've gotten over something that had hurt you, that had disappointed you in the past here. Or you're still in like the works. You're still kind of healing from this, from this situation here. So... I feel like you've had your eye on somebody here, somebody that you feel drawn to, you feel connected to this person. Someone who's very romantic. Somebody was very, very romantic in the past here. Knight of Cups, this is like the Prince Charming. But you know, Prince Charming always has broken hearts behind him. So I do feel like somebody has caught, been caught up with this image romantic charming somebody who ch was charmed for some of you you feel like you were charmed by this person to be left disappointed to be left hurt by them feeling like a fool um something about this was risky you took a chance you took a risk for some of you even knowing about somebody's reputation or just feeling that intuitive pull that this person could possibly hurt me. I do see that there's been an ending. There's been some sort of pressure. A divorce. Breakup. Feeling betrayed. Backstabbed. Somebody's been in pain. But this is behind you. So let's see what is going on for you now. I mean, I'm seeing wedding rings. So this could definitely do with a marriage. Yeah, you've ended it. Or you're ending things here. Ten of swords in your energy. It feels like you were... This person really hurt you. I'm seeing a narcissist. I'm, I'm getting narcissist vibes here. This, this person... Was only thinking about themselves, control, this person had some sort of control and it left you feeling hurt, disappointed and I do feel like you have realized that this isn't going anywhere, it's a necessary ending. It's something that was necessary to happen here. There was nothing more was growing out of this situation. It wasn't flourishing, it wasn't abundant anymore. It just was stagnant. It wasn't um, it, it was stubborn. I feel like you let it go. You had to let this go. You said no. You said no. I feel like for a long time, if you have the chaser in the past, you were always a yes person or you put others before yourself, but now you're putting yourself first and now you are saying no. I'm not going to do this anymore. It's not... I'm not seeing any growth. I'm not seeing any progress. Nothing more is developing here. Seven of Swords. This person was... This person knew exactly what they were doing. 
They're coming back around though, and they're watching you. They have their eye on you. Narcissist vibes, the emperor reversed. So it's like they're coming back around just for their own ego, for their own ego boost. They haven't moved on from this. Um, this person has been lying. They've been sneaky, manipulative even, bossy. They were all talk. They were all talk and no action. And you're like, one more thing, one more thing, and I'm out. I'm done. And you're done. I'm seeing it. I feel like you're really done with this person. This person was a narcissist. They, they were, uh, they may have even, there may have even been other people. This person could have been also involved with other people here. This person planned this all along or they were they're making some sort of plan to come back around towards you. But I do feel like you're gaining something. This ending is something that you needed to progress because now we have progression. Now you are moving on. There's a closure of some sort of issue. Something is being finalized. The Wheel of Fortune. You got good luck coming in here. Okay. So. Okay. You know, I'm seeing karma. Like, karma... Karma is good. Karma is good and, you know, it's bad for those who do bad. But... You got good karma. Wheel of Fortune upright. You got some good luck. There's a new cycle for you that is opening. I see you um, slowly moving towards this. Slowly moving on. Um, I'm seeing some sort of toxic cycle. There is a new start for you. You're taking action towards moving on from this situation. I do feel like this person is coming back and they will keep coming back around until you are like officially done they are coming back around the person this this narcissist this toxic person so just caution beware because you're gonna be tested again they're gonna show up as if they are um giving you something of value they are coming correct but it's just another cycle it's just another karmic pattern that will just keep repeating itself until you've realize that it's it's it needs to be over and done with for good here and also I see down the line there's a partnership for you two of cups or you're meeting someone new that feels like oh I see you dating someone I see somebody new coming into your life that's gonna make you really happy I see a partnership being celebrated or an engagement Wow <laughs> that's some that's some real karma for them and good karma for you because it looks like you're moving on like right now you're finalizing something down the line I do see you meeting someone and I do see a union. I see union, celebration. I see you dating. I do see you dating. It's like you learn, you've learned a lesson. There's been a big lesson that you've learned here or you will be learning in the near future. But this is leading to something that's going to make you really happy. I see it being celebrated, people celebrating you and a partnership here. An engagement down the line. I see it making a decision being made after being on the fence. I see you finally putting boundaries. I feel like nine nine months. You could be meeting in nine months. You could be meeting somebody. Or it's like it's going to take somebody nine months to gain your trust because I do feel like you're you're kind of moving on a little bit guarded now. You have your guards up. You're being very cautious. Nine months. I see you meeting someone or it's going to take nine months 
for somebody to gain your trust here, but it's going to be really, really beautiful and it's going to be a celebration for you. So you got some good karma coming in here. So just, you know, I do see like you're going through a, a lot of pressure right now, but just know what you're moving towards is really beautiful. Let's get some specifics. And details for you guys. Children. There could be children involved. Or somebody's just a childish. Still has growing up to do. This is somebody who you were. This is an ex. Union. You're dealing with an ex. We have gifts here. So you have some really good gifts. You have karmic gifts. Um, this is a blessing in disguise. You're moving on from an obstacle. And you're going to have options. You're, I see a, that we have moving forward. You have a new... I see you meeting somebody. I see a partnership for you. I see a decision being made between two people. But ultimately, I see you being in a partnership and, and being really happy about it. So, I mean, I love that Wheel of Fortune upright because that's just a new cycle. Things are going in your favor. You're, you're moving towards a new cycle of just wins. Wins after wins after wins, Scorpio. After a tough situation, once you have finalized this divorce or this breakup. I'm surprised justice isn't here, but I'm hearing karmic justice. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, have faith in love. Spirit is saying. Don't let your pride get in the way. Full moon in Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo, a Pisces, Aquarius, and Gemini. So, the answers you need are coming. Meditate and contemplate. So, you're, you will be getting some sort of download from your spirit guides, your ancestors, or God, whatever it is that you believe in, through meditation or through the astral realm, which is like your dreams. So pay attention to your dreams. Keep a dream journal. It can bring you some sort of answers that you've been needing subconsciously. Uh, bring love into the situation. Bring compassion, but also... Um, but also don't let yourself be... Don't be a pushover is what I'm hearing. So with that being said, this is what I'm seeing for you, Scorpio. If it resonated, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Bye.